Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I want to show you how to set up a monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. So let's start with a little bit of the prep work. Over here on the top right of your command where you can see your name, there's a drop down menu there. Choose settings from that drop down. This will bring you to your integrations page within your command. And what we're looking for is your command email settings. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you should see this under email services and command email is right here. You'll notice it usually always says connected. If you don't see it connected, definitely reach out to us um, and we can help look into that for you. But right here, there's a manage button on the far right. And when you click manage, this is going to show you how your name is going to appear on the smart plan emails that go out as they do use command email to be sent. And it also shows you the email address that any replies sent from your contacts and your consumers when they reply to those smart plan emails, it shows you the email address that those replies will be received at. And that's listed right here. So just make sure this looks the way that you want it to. You can go ahead and edit it right here. Make sure to click save changes if you do, but make sure that the name appears as you would like it to. Maybe you're on a team or you're in a group and you would like this to appear a certain way. Go ahead and adjust that there. And then also here for the email, you can choose from the drop down menus so from any of the email addresses that are associated with your KW account or even write in one down here at the bottom. You can use the pencil to edit and the trash can to delete and start over if you would like. Once this is set up the exact way you would like it to be, just make sure again, hit save changes and go ahead and close that. Next is your marketing profile. Over here on the connect settings on the left hand menu, if you give that a click, you'll notice marketing profile is just below that. I'm not going to go into this in super detail. We do have a tech tip video on our YouTube channel called marketing profile that will show you how to set up this entire thing and make sure that it is filled out correctly. However, I just want you to eyeball it, make sure that it is set up completely um, as your marketing information will be pulling from this particular profile right here and feeding out through your smart plan. This is where your branding comes from. So if you were set up through Scott Leroy Marketing, well, most likely this is already done for you. But just to give it a quick skim, you'll want to make sure that the green toggle is on over here on the far right. That means this profile is feeding out to your branding and your marketing pieces. This is where you would add your headshot. Make sure your compliance information is also um, correct, like your agent license, license number, your name is appearing how you would like it to. And down here, you'll also see your market center information, the email address that you want reflected as your business email and your website as well, um, as those pieces of information will be included in your footer um, on the smart plan emails. And of course, your legal footers if you need those as well, depending on your area. And just hit save if you made any changes. Again, this is just a little back work, a little prep work to make sure that when the smart plan does go out, it has your branding showing correctly. Next, let's jump into the contacts tab over here on the top left second icon down from the bottom or from the top, excuse me, a little person in a square. If you're not familiar with the icons just yet, you can always click that red square at the top and it'll pop out the names for you. So again, we're in the contacts tab right here and I'm going to close that up. And as you can see, these are your contacts. And so a few things need to be on these contact profiles in order for them to properly receive the smart plan email. The monthly neighborhood nurture um, sends out a monthly neighborhood nurture email. Um, it's actually a snapshot of the neighborhood, of the stats that are going on, um, things like that. It may also include some um, nearby listings as well, but it basically sends out a snapshot of that neighborhood and the stats within it. Um, and so things that you need to have on that contact profile would be a primary email address and a neighborhood. Now, if you've imported your contacts into command with a primary address on that contact, more than likely command has already assigned a neighborhood based on that primary email at, or excuse me, primary physical address. 
especially if it's in a residential area where there are defined neighborhoods, it will go ahead and apply that neighborhood to the contact profile for you. If for some reason you don't have a physical address on file yet, or maybe the physical address is actually in like a commercial location or um, maybe in a rural location where there's not defined neighborhoods, in that case, the neighborhood would need to be manually added by you, the agent, um, and you cannot do this in bulk, unfortunately, at this time. You do have to go contact by contact, one by one, and manually add the neighborhood. So let me show you how to filter your contacts to see, number one, who's missing an email, and also who needs to have a neighborhood um, added. So you can come up here to your filters right here. I'm going to close some of the expanded menus just so you can see this all listed right here. Now I do have some preset filters. You may or may not. Always recommend hitting clear all down here at the bottom and then hitting apply before you start working with your filters just to make sure there's nothing else that may be filtering through your contacts and causing an issue. So go ahead and clear all and hit apply and then choose your filters again. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave mine like they are. But up here at the top, you can click Advanced. And from here, you can go ahead and see who actually has a neighborhood on file and who doesn't. Click Neighborhoods, and then it's going to give you a couple of additional fields to narrow this down even more. Now, I know I said to find out who needs a neighborhood added, maybe you would rather see who already has a neighborhood applied to their contact profile so that you can go ahead and move forward with setting up that monthly neighborhood nurture. So I'm going to show you that way to show you which one already has a neighborhood on file so that you can move forward with your smart plan. Just know if you are ever going to do like lead generation or something like that um, or do warm touches to your database, you can always come in here and do the reverse and look up to see who's missing a neighborhood so that maybe you could even have that conversation with that contact, get that email that might be missing, things like that. But for right now, let me show you who has the information so that you can move forward. So right here, you can choose neighborhoods and choose a condition for that neighborhood's field. So we definitely want to know who has a neighborhood on file. So you can choose is not empty. That means that there is a neighborhood filled in in the neighborhoods field on their contact profile. And that'll let you know, again, who has the neighborhood, who's ready to go. But we also need to make sure that they have an email address on file as well, right? So you can add an additional filter and go by email, primary email, and also set your conditions to show is not empty, which means these contacts are going to have a neighborhood already chosen and a primary email address on file. You can go ahead and hit apply and it'll show you those contacts. Um, and then we can add that bulk tag as well. That'll be the next step that I'll show you. But from here, if you have your filters set up just like this, it will show you people that already have a neighborhood and have that primary email on file, they're ready to go. If you're coming in here to fill out your command um, contacts to get more information, you could go and view who whose neighborhood is empty and it would let you go ahead and see those that need a neighborhood um, added. Or you can even choose in here through these filter options that if it includes a particular neighborhood or excludes a particular neighborhood. So if you and did that and you're looking for a particular neighborhood that you wanna work on, you would come in here and begin typing a neighborhood name and see which one comes up to choose which one you want to make sure is on these contacts. But for today's purposes for the monthly neighborhood nurture, we recommend keeping it is not empty, okay? All right. So go ahead and hit apply if you'd like to filter your contacts. We already have our contacts completely filtered. So let's say you already know that these particular contacts have a neighborhood on file, have that primary email on file. So we can either select one or all. We're gonna go ahead and select all and our bulk action menu appears. Now this is where we can add that tag just to identify them as, hey, these are ready to go for the monthly neighborhood nurture. If you're working with a larger database, 
make sure to keep an eye over here as well on this particular part. You can make sure that it's showing up to 500 contacts at a time, okay? That way you have up to 500 on this one page so that when you collect all, select all, you can tag up to 500. Okay, so bulk action will come here and we'll add tags. Again, these are the folks that are ready to go for the monthly neighborhood nurture. So you can add a tag, whatever you would like. For us, we just do MNN, monthly neighborhood nurture. That tag is already created, so I can go ahead and click it here and you'll notice one is selected. If you need to create a new tag, you can also do that from right here on this screen. You'd create tag. You can type in whatever else you would like if you want to say that Maybe you want to spell it out. Um, monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. That's a super long tag, but just in case, just to give you an option and you can choose the color and create tag right here and it would apply it as well. For us, we're not going to make that tag. Just want to make sure that monthly neighborhood is selected. It is. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. Now that applies that tag to all of those contacts. We're going to hit refresh so that we can see it. And there we go. So now we can actually add the contacts to the smart plan based on that tag. It also helps you organize your database as well. Let's say that they did not have a neighborhood on file and you need to get the neighborhood added. Um, we do have a tech tip video that shows you how to go through and add those neighborhoods onto your contacts. Highly recommend checking out that tech tip video. That way you'll know how to add those neighborhoods, okay? And so from here, now that we know these are the contacts that have the neighborhood, these are the contacts that have a primary email address on file, and also we've gone ahead and applied our monthly neighborhood nurture tag, now we can move over to the smart plan tab itself. So it's over here on the left hand side. Let me hit the red square for you. And it's your fourth icon down. We'll click smart plans. The first thing that's going to show is your smart plans. You'll notice a tab at the top that says My Smart Plans, and we're under People Plans. Now, this means that these are smart plans for your database, your people. And so you can go ahead and choose one that you already have. For us, I want to show you how to get that monthly neighborhood nurture out of the library, assuming that you haven't already downloaded it here to yours. So over here on the top right, you'll notice library right here. And you can search by either the smart plan name, author, or description or just for this particular one, I happen to know right where it is. If you'll scroll down just a hair, right here are Keller Williams authored smart plans. Now, highly recommend using these as they are coded correctly to pull the information from your contacts in your contacts tab. Um, any other smart plan that is not KW author, just make sure to definitely test it on yourself first. Um, well, we recommend that all the time. Definitely test the smart plan on yourself first to make sure that all of your information is showing correctly. And that's a good way to check any typos, things like that. But for the most part, Keller Williams smart plans are tried and true. Um, they've already been tested and you're good to go. It's the other smart plans that are created back here in the library by other associates and agents. Um, they are not necessarily going to include the correct coding on the back end to pull the information from your contacts tab in command. So definitely test them on yourself first, okay? If you have any questions about that, definitely reach out to us and we can look into it for you as well. But right here, Keller Williams authored smart plans. You'll notice they have a bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. It's the same thing as your monthly neighborhood nurture, except it's going to go out every two weeks. We want to do the monthly, and so I'm going to use the arrows right here to skip ahead to the other Keller Williams authored smart plans. Right here, you'll notice monthly neighborhood nurture. And from here, you can hit Add Smart Plan. Adding the Smart Plan is going to download this over here to our Smart Plans tab, okay? So if you have any questions about this, definitely check out our Smart Plans Overview tutorial. We also have that video and class archives on our YouTube channel. And it goes into detail about how you can sort back here, find different Smart Plans, read the, uh, see the reviews on here, see how many times it's been downloaded, preview the steps, things like that. So if you're looking for details about smart plans, it's called smart plans overview.
and those archives are on our YouTube channel as well. So right now I'm going to click add smart plan. This is going to take this smart plan and download it into my smart plans. You can change the name right here if you would like. Let's say I want to make sure I remember this is actually a KW authored one. So I'm going to put that there and I can go ahead and download it as well. Now, if your download button is not highlighted, it may already mean that you've downloaded it into your my smart plans. So now we'll go over here to my smart plans. And you'll notice it's right here at the top, KW Monthly Neighborhood Nurture. Now, I want to show you some things you can edit in this prior to adding your contacts. So you'll come over here to the pencil and click Edit. And you can add tag triggers to this, um, or otherwise known as a trigger event. So you can click Add right here. Remember we made that tag monthly neighborhood nurture for our contacts MNN. Well, I can come over here and add that particular tag as a trigger. What that means is any contacts moving forward, not the ones I've already tagged, but moving forward now once I've created this trigger, any contacts that I add the MNN tag to will now automatically be started on this smart plan without me having to come and add them manually. It's brilliant. It's huge leverage for your business and it will actually save you a lot of time. So any other tags that you can think of that are applicable for your business that you would like to add here as a trigger, go ahead and do that. This is just particularly the tag for us that we know that contact has that neighborhood and has that primary email address on file. You'll want to make sure those two pieces of information are there before you start them on the smart plan or else it won't work properly for them. So we'll go ahead and choose this trigger. It just gives you a disclaimer of what I just shared with you that any contacts that previously have had this tag added will not automatically be added to the smart plan and that's okay. We're fixing to manually add them anyway after we create this. So we'll confirm the trigger. You'll notice it's added right here and you can add up to 10 tags as triggers for a smart plan. Um, You'll notice it does say over here, this is a Keller Williams managed plan. Editing is limited. Again, I told you they're tried and true. There's not much to finagle with these. You can change the name. You can add those triggers. But other than that, it's pretty much set the way that it's set. Um, and so there's nothing else to jump in here to and personalize. So now that it's already saved, we, well, let's go ahead and hit our save button. There we go, our green banner of success at the top. So it saved that trigger for us. Anybody else in the future that has the MNN tag added will now be added to the smart plan automatically. And so now that it's saved, we need to add our contacts in order to activate the smart plan. Otherwise it's considered inactive. It's just sitting in your My Smart Plans tab and it's not doing anything. But once you add contacts to it, that activates it. Those, it means those particular contacts will begin receiving that monthly neighborhood nurture. While I'm thinking of it, please know that if you add multiple neighborhoods to a contact, they will not get an email for each neighborhood. It will be one monthly email and all the neighborhoods will be listed within that one email. Okay, we get that question a lot. So I just wanna make sure I answered that. I just thought of it. Um, all right, so let's go over how to add those contacts. So right here, you'll notice you have a little person in the square with a plus sign. This is an add a contact box. So I could add contacts from right here. It'll let me search by name, add by the tag again, our MNN tag folks, right? And so I can come here and select that tag. It'll show me the contacts. Do know it's limited how many contacts it'll show you right here. I believe it's 20 and then you'll have to scroll down and choose more, show more, that kind of thing. So a little, it'll be a little time consuming if you're working with a larger database to add them from right here, but you can if you like. Um, you can also select all or choose which ones you would like to select and add to a smart plan. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I actually wanna show you a different way to add them. So I'm gonna click cancel and we're going to come back out of this smart plan back to our my smart plans and I'll show you the second way that you can add it right here on the right you'll also notice that same add contact button so you can add them from right here click that it's going to look the same again you can sort by your tags or search by name if you want to choose 
Once you've added contacts, it will look like this right here. It'll show you the number of contacts that you've added to the smart plan and you can actually click on the eyeball and it'll show you all the people that are added to that smart plan and allow you to remove all or move, remove one at a time or multiples at a time, whichever you would prefer to do. So that's how you remove them once you've added them if you need to. I just wanted to make sure you were aware that this is what it'll look like once you've added contacts that you can tell you actually did it successfully. Now those are the two ways to add contacts from here, but I actually want to go back over to your contacts tab and show you how you can bulk add contacts to your smart plans in increments up to 500. Now you can have more than 500 contacts on a smart plan at a time, but that is the max that you can add at one given time. You'd have to do it repeatedly. Remember I showed you over here to make sure that you're showing up to 500 contacts per page at a time. So just imagine we have a thousand contacts. So we would have two pages right here of 500 contacts and you can select all and choose from your bulk action menu to add to smart plan right here. So this is what it looks like when you were wanting to bulk add and you've already filtered your contacts. Remember, remember, it's important to come in here and make sure you're looking at the tag that you want to add. So if you did not already have those contacts showing right here, you would want to make sure you go to your filters again and filter to look for either a specific tag, or set those advanced filters up to look for those folks that have the neighborhood and the email. Since we've already tagged them, you could come right here to filter by tags and put MNNM. And there we go. We can apply that and we'll only see contacts with that tag. Then we can select all and from the bulk action menu, add to smart plan. This is going to open a drawer over here to the right and you will notice that it has all of your smart plan names. If you did not see it right here at the top, you can also search by the smart plan name and you can just go ahead and select that smart plan. It's going to give you options of when to start it. You can start them all right now. You can start on a following date in the future and you can choose that from the calendar if you were to choose this option or you can even stagger over the next few days. Now, if you were adding a large number to your smart plan and it had like tasks included in there, like things that you either needed to do handwritten notes for, or maybe you needed to call or manually text, things like that, be mindful, you may want to stagger them. You don't wanna come into your office every day and have you know 500 tasks to send a manual text to each person that day, right? So this will allow you to actually send out in small batches over the next several days. That way you'll only have small batches of tasks created from your smart plans if that were the case. Since this is the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan, it only has that monthly email that goes out. It is automatic. It's not a task for you to do anything. So we'll just go ahead and choose start all now and you can hit confirm. You'll get a banner up here at the top that they've gone ahead and been added to that smart plan. And again, I just want to show you one more way that you can actually add them to the smart plan should you choose to. If you are actually in a contact profile here, just working on this one particular contact, you do have the option over here in the contact profile to see the smart plans. So you can click on that, see the ones they're already added to, but you can also add them to a smart plan from right here. It'll open that same drawer. You can see which ones they're already added to and go ahead and select some other ones to add them to if you would like to, okay? You can also delete them too if you need to. You can see the little trash can over here and you can say, we'll go ahead and remove them from that smart plan if need to. So that is another way just to add contacts to your smart plans. If you have any questions about this at all, please reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help you with this. Um, but this will get them started on that monthly neighborhood nurture. So every month they'll receive one email that shows all the neighborhood snaps for and market information for the neighborhoods listed on their contact profile. Thanks for watching.